Uh, I think I gotta do this. T-pose and run in place. Or maybe it's arms over the head and run in place. What about, I forget. I also kind of broke my foot today, so I shouldn't do that. All right, so we're talking about uh, Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls. This is a video game I never played, but today we're gonna make Estus. Uh, some people call it Estus Flask, but an Estus Flask is sort of a prop. That's the thing that holds your Estus. The Estus is the stuff that you, you want. And we're not gonna put ours in a flask, we're gonna put it in a cocktail glass for a couple of reasons that are gonna be really cool in a minute. What is Dark Souls? Dark Souls, what do I know about it? It's a video game I never played. A little after my time, I'm old. I'm sorry guys, I don't know how to tell you this. Here's what I know about it. It's punishingly hard. Uh, there's a guy in it with armor and a sun on his chest. Uh, three, you praise the sun. Praise the sun. Four, fight the demons. Five, you have an Estus flask that you fill with Estus at bonfires. And that an Estus flask, when filled with Estus, you can drink it or consume it. That is how you get your hit points back in this game that is punishingly difficult. And I should say, I love a punishingly difficult game, so I should play it. Uh, but I'm not, I haven't yet, so I don't know. Maybe I'll do that over on my Twitch account. So I'm flying a little blind here. Why am I making this drink? Why am I making a drink from a video game I never played, I have no love of? You guys kept asking me for it. I don't know how many times I've gotten comments about Estus Flask. So many times for Dark Souls, Estus, Estus, Estus. The other thing about that thing is that the, the little icon for the Estus, the sprite, you know, the bitmap of the Estus Flask in your inventory looks a bit like a lit up bottle of Sunny D. So everybody, apparently it's a, the joke is that it's Sunny D. So they said you gotta use Sunny D when you make Estus Flask. Let's pull this thing out. Let's see. I haven't had this since I was a kid either. Ooh. Um, it's like, it's like tang. It really, there's a lot of citric acid in there. You can taste it on your sides of your tongue. I was gonna say that this is uh, just like boring fake orange juice, but actually um, the citric acid in there and the sweetness kind of has a tangerine quality. So we're gonna use a tangerine in this drink. The other thing we're gonna use is pisco, specifically barsol pisco, why? Because of the sun, bar soul. Praise the sun. Uh, I mean, this is a fantasy drink. I could base it on just about anything I wanted to, so there's no rules here. The only thing that matters is that it's liquid sunshine, molten fire, bonfire stuff, and uh, that it uh, tastes good and that you want to drink it. I think we can manage that. So we're going to shake it. I'm so lame. I mean, you think I'm cool, but I am not. I got it, I got it. Excuse me. I'll do the dance of the seven veils next. I want a quarter ounce of lemon juice. Lemon juice comes from lemons. Quarter ounce of lemon juice. I want three quarters of an ounce of um, tangerine juice. Probably have to cut more than one of these. Slicey, slicey, juicy, juicy. There we go, three quarters of an ounce tangerine in my tin. I want a quarter ounce of maraschino. I'm just like all thumbs today. I keep losing these caps. And I want a quarter ounce of cinnamon syrup. This is nothing more than a um, simple syrup that I infuse with cinnamon. And I said I want a quarter ounce of cinnamon syrup. Um, this is all subjective. So if you like yours sweeter, that's fine. Uh, if you want it, if you decide that you want it drier, that's fine. Um, but I wanted a quarter ounce of cinnamon. There's no right or wrong here on how to drink. Okay, and so now I need two ounces of my Pisco, and I'm using Bar Soul Pisco, as I said before. Uh, Bar Soul Pisco, the guys who named it, they named it because they wanted every bar under the sun to be using Bar Soul Pisco. Uh, it seems appropriate here for our Dark Souls drink, where I praise the sun. Oh yeah, two ounces in there, okay. Drop my ice cube in, one big, and the other one I'm gonna crack, crack, crack. Before I pour this into this glass, I want to take a little Lemon Heart 151. It's going to get a little presentational. Presentational. Really coat the inside of the glass here. This Lemon Heart 151. 
Oh yeah, it's burning. And then, come over it with some cinnamon. And then pour your drink into that. Uh, hopefully it's going to extinguish it. It did. All right, there it is, our Estes flask. Praise the sun. This is delightful. <laughs> it is a explosion of citrus and cinnamon with this undercurrent from the maraschino, the sweet, nutty, um, stone fruit thing that kind of runs right through it. Uh, this is a fairly high proof cocktail as well. Uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this and of course, the explosion of fire is fun to watch. I mean, obviously that's for show. Uh, and and that's how you fill your glass from a bonfire. If I'm tasting that, it is in a pleasant way. There's a, maybe a slight caramelized thing happening in here from the Demerara, from the burnt um, 151 Guyana Lemon Heart. Uh, I encourage you to use that rum here. That's the rum to use. Uh, it's a shame that the fire is not more visible when you do that, uh, but be advised, it's freaking there. It's invisible and burning and hot. Um, there's no joke. Uh, of course, the cinnamon makes it very beautiful. Well, it tastes like the sun. I might have failed on this one because honestly, as delicious as this is, I don't think it tastes much like um, hydrogen atoms being fused into helium. I don't know what that would taste like. Like, uh, it doesn't taste like the synthesis of heavy elements or anything like that. You know, nuclear fusion or fission. I got none of that in there. Um, it's just nice. It's just a nice orangey, cinnamony, sweet, but not too sweet. Certainly not overly, overly sweet tiki drink. I mean, it's delicious. It's stupid, stupid good. Praise the sun. Thank you guys so much for suggesting that I do this Dark Souls drink. Uh, still, I have no idea. Praise it. Praise that sun all night long. This is delicious. That's the show, guys. If you have enjoyed it, I hope you will subscribe. This is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. I'm on Twitter at How to Drink. I'm on Instagram at How to Drink. I'm on Patreon at patreon.com slash how to drink. If you want to become a regular, hop on over there and join up. Uh, if you love the show, I really hope you do love the show. I hope you will subscribe. Um, and if you subscribe, why don't you go the extra mile and turn on your notifications. I'll let you know every single time I come out with a video instead of when YouTube feels like it, okay? It'd be great. Join the uh, join the ding dong gang. Become a ding dong. Ring a ding dang dong. Look at you. All my barware is courtesy of Barfly. Check them out. They're in a pinned comment below this video. I never played Dark Souls. I don't know what's my speed. I, I think I just want to like spend more time doing Return to Zork. Ooh, or uh, oh, Oregon Trail. I think I'm gonna go play some Oregon Trail. Maybe we'll get up on the Twitch on that. Are there people twitching Oregon Trail? Is that a thing? Twitching? Should I be twitching? <laughs>